Hello, this is Glowing Golem, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Sky Adventures. And I have these chickens behind me. I got rid of these ones because I now have essentially two alchemical chests full of emerald chickens. That is all I will ever need for every single optimization thing ever. Um, and these guys, um, I upgraded this to a energy condenser. Um, and I have them collecting over here because I ran into a problem. If I come into here and I dump this in here, you can see that I get this much. 2,147,483,647 EMC. And I cannot go any higher. I cannot put anything else in there. So yeah, I've just been storing it all up here and I might want to just take a few of these out just so I can dump things in again. Um, but um, I do have things for some quests here so I'll quickly complete those. So fishing rod name tag that. Um, I was setting up to craft some of these. I can do most of them. Not all of them because some of them require some other things. So, anyway, I've got a fishing net here, okay, um, some more money, some ink sacks, okay. So that means I can make one of the other ones, and a loot crate. So inside here is an alchemical chest and a repair talisman. Repair talisman, okay. So yeah, I don't really need that or that. Let's put the money away, and come over here, because I have set up just a little bit of crafting. So first I'll start with these porcelain dolls, so um, that's for this hair, which I can now complete that and unlock all these. Um, then there's all the special dolls, so there's a blazing doll here. Um, this is a dark doll, I just need the egg sacks, or a creeping doll. There we go. Um, there's a floating doll. There is a protecting goal, doll. Um, there, I can't remember what this one was, but if I come here, it's, yeah, it's freezing, then there's breezing, then there's crushing, and then this one is the oozing, so that's made with slime. Anyway, if I come in here, I've made this one, this one, this one, and this one, so I'm just waiting for these two here. Uh, anyway, money in there. And two loot crates. Wow. A disenchanter and experience solidifier. Okay, well, disenchanter can go in here, and then all that stuff can go away. Don't need that, and that needs to go away in a other system. So I'm going to be setting up some refined storage. So you can see here there's a lot of storage stuff ready to be crafted all here, and all along here as well, just like that everything for refined storage and this is the start of a player energy sticks because not all of that's EMCable so I couldn't really set up. First thing I will need though is some power. So I have got here some machine blocks, um, just about four stacks of those. Don't need that much but whatever. Um, then I can make here a stack. Why is that like that? Okay furnace generator, a stack of those, which means I can make a stack of overclocked generators. And these are essentially insane on the power generation. So I put it here and let's just say get a stack of charcoal. It eats through the power like crazy, but out of that it produced 100,000 RF. I quickly want to test if if I do sticks, will it produce that much? No. So, essentially, the higher the burn time or something, the better it goes. So I just need to pump this full of coal and it'll produce power at a decent rate. I think I might set up some power generation before I get into the frying storage stuff. So if I come here, grab a stack of these chickens, um, then get a roost here. Just like that, I can like just put the roost down here, pull out of it um, with 
that and then in here I want to put some speed upgrades and some stack upgrades so then put the chickens in there they will start producing emeralds pump into here which I want to set to charcoal so let's get some charcoal here just like that and there we go insane I actually don't want those ones in here I instead want it if I well if I come and grab some more transfer stuff I then want to pump out of here into here and okay that is going fast enough to continuously produce and yeah I don't think this will be running out of power anytime soon so I could even get another one transfer pipe put it there and then yep got two of those running and I think they stay full yep I'm just gonna put these in just to be sure but yeah definitely that's already a 1 million RF and this is going heaps more and this is already backed up with emeralds. Now on to refined storage. So I've got all these crafted here and well essentially I've essentially just learnt all of this in here already but I'm going to go through and show you how to make everything. So there's iron and quartz which gives the quartz enriched iron here. Then with that quartz enriched iron and stone I can make machine casings which are here. Um, then this is a new thing for refined storage. So string and slime. Um, that slime can be made with slime balls here from a chicken. And that makes a process of binding. And that is used with diamond, redstone and silicon. Silicon is yet from smelted quartz. So here's silicon here. Um, and yeah, so that makes advanced processes here. Then there's some improved processes with the gold and with iron. It's basic processes. Each of those can be smelted up in a furnace to get the, um, well, these are the raw ones and these are the actual processes. So then with the processes I can make things like the controller here and then also some disk drives. There we go. I'm going to start off this system by just putting down this here and then putting the disk drive next to it. Just like that. So that's the start of the system. Now I need to come to this and firstly make some cables. So I've got way too many there um, but then I need to get some storage going so I've got some 1k storage parts here then using those 1k's and the processes and the quartz stuff I can make 4k's then level that up again to 16k and then do that one more time to 64k and then with these 64k storage parts I can make these 64k storage discs so that is really a lot of storage right there. So I'm just gonna I'll put all this back in because I want to get just a few of these and well I don't know I don't know why I did it like this. So I'm just gonna put this all in for the EMC. Don't need it anyway. And then with seven of those and 64k one two three yes I can come over to here and I can put in all these and it's refined storage so it's only eight of them okay but anyway this is 500,000 items and well if I come back in here and get disk drives and just fill out my inventory with this I can put this down here, this down here, and then fill these up like that, and these up like that, and I am storing one and a half million items. And this one here is a grid, so this allows you to access and interface with the system, so you can put items in and take items out. Um, but I want to upgrade this so it just requires a processor and a crafting table and I can make crafting grid. 
So why did that only give me one? Is there a reason why it only gave me one? No idea, but I really don't care. So anyway, if I do that, just dump that in there because I don't need it. And come over, place this down here. I can now access all the items and I can put anything that doesn't have EMC in here. I also want to put some things that do have EMC in here just so that I can access and craft all of it. Well, now that I've finished refined storage, um, essentially, straight away, um, I'm gonna get all of these here and I can come over to storage solutions and here's refined storage so I can just go through and claim absolutely every one of these with those items from that chest. So there we go. Okay, refined storage is completely done. That's everything from refined storage. And I get a bit more money. Um, a loot crate, which gives me something. And $100. Yes, okay. 205. Well, now I want to get into applied and logistics, which is sort of the same thing, except it can do crafting a whole lot better, and I want it because of the crafting. So, it starts with an ME controller, so this requires four Skystone. So, Skystone is made by smelting Skystone here, which is putting lava and Skystone dust in a bucket. So, if I can take this, I can put it in there, and that turns into Skystone. And then I need to smelt these up, and there we go. Four Skystone blocks. The next thing is I need some charge Certus Quartz. Eight of that redstone and quartz so what I can do with this is if I come over to this water I can dump in that that and that um, hello dump it in there okay and this turns into the flux crystals so there we go okay now that I've got some of those, I don't need any more whatsoever. And I need this to be the pure Certus Quartz. So the way I make that is putting um, Fluix crystals in the pulverizer and I get this Fluix dust here. That can be combined with some sand. So if I get some of that and this and combine it with that, there we go, I get some Fluix seeds and if I dump that down in water they will slowly turn into pure Fluix crystals. But there is a quicker way of doing that because if I get these crystal growth accelerators, what do I need for that? And then I can make one, two, three, four of these. Done. So of course I'll need some way to power it, um, and if I look for the energy acceptor, I'm just going to search up that there, okay, let's see, yes I have everything I need to make it, so let's put that in there, put that like that, and then bring this out the back like this, lead some cables around, and then, um, let's see. I will, I guess I'll just put it here, connect that up like that, that, there, and then one on the side, and it's working. So all I need now is some water, get as much of that as I can, I need some more sand, there we go, 22, okay, that should be okay, um, dump that in there, and it will grow a whole lot faster than it should. Okay, so I've just made some inscribers, so that's with another sticky piston down here as well. And what I can do with these, um, 
do I have these things here? And is there any way that I can get them? I don't know. I think, I assume there would be a reward somewhere so that I can get them. Hmm, how do I get them? Because there are no medias in this world. And there's no crafting recipe for them. Well, these are now done. And that is almost everything I need to make the Emmy controller. So I've got those there. Then the Skystone block on the side. And the last thing I need just comes from the Inscriber. Well, I've just gone through and claimed all of these rewards. I guess I can also claim that one. Yep, okay. And money. I have quite a bit now. So all that, I have $221. Uh, let's now open this epic loot crate and get some cables. Really? Okay, whatever. That's going in there with all of that and that. And pretty much everything I'm now just going to dump in here. Just so I really don't have to pull things out of here anymore. Well, one final thing I want to do is this red morning star. That seems pretty easy to get, so let's have a quick look. Red morning star. Yep, really easy to get. Okay, so I need a lot of diamonds, red matter, and dark matter. So let me get a stack of diamonds out of here. Then red matter and dark matter. There we go. Okay, so now all I need to do is just come here, come to that, craft that, then come here, here, craft that, here, here, craft this, then craft that one there, then craft the shovel, which I need the dark matter shovel first, there we go, red matter shovel, and then red morning star. Done! Okay, so now if I complete that, I get $200 and an epic loot crate. So, wow. Emmy controller. Okay, well I already have that. I... Wait! Emmy controller! That is the thing that I've been trying to craft over here! I don't have it! That's why I want it! Okay, well anyway... Um, I already said I was going to end the episode here, so I will, but that is a great start. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.